It's almost Passover, and I do what a lot of people do, a lot of cleaning. One of the things I clean is my closet. Take a look at my closet, take out the pockets of my suits and jackets and see if there's any crumbs in there, stuff like that. I'm coming across my suits, and there is an old suit of mine. And it comes from Sims. Remember Sims? I love that store. Got a lot of stuff there. Now defunct, went bankrupt in 2011. Sims reminded me about a great insight into Passover. The insight is about to come. Freedom. Passover is all about freedom, right? But what is freedom? So I ask friends, people all the time, what do you think freedom is? I always get the same answer. And I always, I believe, get the wrong answer. Freedom, people say, is... I want to be free to make my own do what I want to do. I want to be free to just do whatever it is that I want. Then I'm really free. Kids say it all the time. Adults say it all the time. I want to be free to do it as I please. Isn't that what freedom is? The answer is no. That's not what freedom is. When you do exactly what you please, what you mean is that you're still a slave because you're a slave to your own desires. You're afraid, you're a slave to your own urges, your own temptations. Whatever it is that you feel like doing, that's what you do. You know what? Animals do that. Animals, whatever they feel like doing, that's what they do. They work from their instinct. They work from their urges. That's not human beings. That's not people. Real freedom for people is we are free to make choices. That's right. We see things in front of us. We understand what we what, what the ideas are, what the possibilities and the options are, and then we make a choice. That's called real freedom. That's a cornerstone of life. God created us with the ability to make choices, but in order to do that, we need to be informed. We need to be educated. We need to understand what the choices are so that we can make the right choices. That's where Cy Sims comes in. Cy Sims taught us in his store, he said always his motto was, an educated consumer is our best customer. He doesn't want people just whatever it is that they want. He wants you to understand what it is that you're buying. See the difference between the garments, the difference between the materials and the styles, etc. Then make your choice. An educated consumer. That's what we need to be. This Passover, we celebrate freedom. And freedom means we have to make a commitment to be informed to be educated enough so that we can make the right decisions. You sit at that Seder and says, what am I going to be doing this year? I'm going to get educated so that I can be really free this year and make the right choices. Friends, have a great, great Passover. Be free, but do it in the right way. Something to think about.